Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to go over the PM Silver Bullet for Wednesday, November 22nd. So first thing we're going to do is turn on the Kraken Silver Bullet Pro Indicator. And we are going to turn on the lunch, New York lunch session liquidity. Okay, so this is the PM session. The first session right before that was the lunch high and low. So there's the lunch high, there's the lunch low. And you can see we just took liquidity from the lunch buy side. So now what do we do? We aim for sell side, right? And if we're going to go lower, I like this low right here as another low. You also got these lows here. You can actually take the previous week high and low off. They've already been traded through. So don't want you to look at that line here. But you got this low right here and you got this low right here. Okay. And then you got a further low lows down here. All right, so let's just go candle by candle and let's see what we have here. Um, well, let's mark off. I have a mitigation block right here. A high, low, lower high trades back down and it comes back up to it. We can take that entry right here, right? And I also want to show you um, if we pulled the from high to low here. Optimal trade entry is right here. If you want to go to this high right here, optimal trade entry is right where that mitigation block is still, right? So if we come into this mitigation block, it's a good place to sell, to go down here. Okay, now it goes in there, comes in there. Okay, cool. You can sell one right there. Okay, let's put our short position on. Okay, where are we targeting? New York lunch sell side. Okay, let's move our stop loss right here. Let's put our TP target. Let's target this, this low right here. Because if we do, I want to see if we get it and then we can always manage our stop accordingly. Take another entry if you wanted to. That's just kind of respecting that order block or that mitigation block. It's not going through it other than the wicks. Well, there it closed just above it. But it's basically getting maintained right there. You also have a small fair value gap right here that's now an inversion. Okay. All right, well, I'd call that an order block right there. Okay. All right, so this just took out, let me put my crosshairs on. This low right here just took out this low and this low. So now, obviously, we're looking, it's going to pull back, and you also have this fair value gap right here. Okay, well, let's let's pull a fib from high to low. Optimal trade entry is right in here. In between the fair value gap and the order box, we'll take an entry right in there and get a second entry here. All right. All right, let's sell another one right there. Put another one there. And we're gonna aim this time for this low here. Oh, let's move this to right there. Right there. Still have our stop there. And uh, yeah, let's keep going. I need to come down in here, close candle close down in this area, and I'll move my stop. If we take out this New York lunch, I will buy one contract, take it off, and adjust my stop loss accordingly. Oh, 
Okay. We're definitely coming back down to here. Why so far? Well, because we're really close to this target, and I can't lose that much on Apex, and so I'm basically protecting my capital. I just want to see it take it. Okay, so now we can buy one contract off right there, leaving our other runner right here. So we've got order block, fair value gap, fair value gap right here, so fair value gap right there. So now we've got three PD array rule, we're doing good. Okay, so now we lower this way down here. Why? We can actually go way down here. I, 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 just, I literally wouldn't want to risk that much, but we'll give this a little candle. I assume there'll be a fair value gap here somewhere. Okay, well then there you go, it took us out. Okay, let's play this out the rest of the day. Let's see how far it goes. And retracing. All right. Well, I'm going to show you something. I'll put this on here. If we were to pull our manipulation leg from the high to the low, I call, I'd call this the manipulation leg. Okay. I don't like these as, as, as lows, so I'd pull this whole leg swing low that created the swing high. I'd use this. Okay. In between two and two and a half is where it likes to reverse. And here it's reversing or at least retrace quite heavily. In between two to two and a half is the drawn liquidity. That's what we are targeting for here. That's why we were targeting this low. And um, yeah, that's how it worked out. So that's how we've managed our trades. Okay, so let's pull off the short and short positions and let's do a recap here. Okay, we came to the two o'clock hour and we pulled our Session liquidity from the Kraken Silver Bullet indicator, and we saw that the New York lunch buy side was taken. So we were targeting the New York sell side, lunch sell side liquidity. We also pulled the fib from the manipulation leg, and between two and two and a half was a major target, a swing low target, which is what, what our secondary target was. We pulled the fib later, but that's how we would have got our answer anyway uh, as our secondary target. So at 2 o'clock, we saw a mitigation block, and that was also in optimal trade entry. And so we took a trade. As soon as we got it, click candle came back up. We took a trade into the mitigation block, aiming for the New York lunch low. Okay. We also saw that we created an order block, price came down, took out these two lows. So we kind of what? Expected to retrace a little bit. How far? We pulled our FIB, got optimal trade entry. In between optimal trade entry, we have an order block and fair value gap. When price came in between those two in optimal trade entry, we took our trade. Our stop was still above the, above the high, right? What were we aiming for? Well, we widened our aim. We aimed for this low to get taken out which would happen to be between the two and two and a half, which was a good target. And as soon as we crossed 50, 60%, we moved, we would have moved our stop uh, to break even. And then some on this, because it went so far down close, we actually moved our stop, protect our capital. So there in a couple of next trades, it took us out and took out the New York lunch sell site. So we have took one contract off there. And then we counted our PDRAs. We had, on the very next candle, we had one, two, three. So we are, our stop loss was right here. Uh, but then it, because of this long candle, we were so close to our target, we moved our stop way down here. And the very next candle, it took us out. I really want to stress that when you see a big candle like this, really close to your target, aggressively move your stop down. And if it comes back up and then takes out your thing, you, you don't want to risk all of these points for this little bit of profitability move your stop way down here I didn't I didn't have a chance by the time I hit the button it was already out we were already done so that's how you aggressively manage your stop loss and uh, your take profit so that is your two trade setups for the PM silver bullet on Wednesday November 22nd using the Kraken silver bullet pro indicator